Elsewhere tonight, after months of negotiation and a last-minute stall from the president, another wave of financial help is now on the way for millions of Americans. ABC's Andrew Dimbert has the very latest. The deal is done. President Trump signing the sweeping COVID-19 relief measure and government spending bill, securing financial aid for millions of Americans and supplemental unemployment benefits for those out of work, while narrowly avoiding a government shutdown. I worry and I care about myself and my family. We need COVID relief so bad. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle relieved that Trump changed his mind with the stroke of a pen and agreed to the terms negotiated in Congress. We're glad that the president finally signed uh, the COVID relief bill. Shortly after Democrats and Republicans originally reached a compromise, the president shocked Capitol Hill when he indicated he would not sign. Trump claimed the deal was filled with wasteful non-COVID related spending and also abruptly demanded stimulus checks be upped from $600 to $2,000. If you want to make a $2,000 check, negotiate that from the beginning. But the COVID relief package was pretty much an all-or-nothing proposition. Either Trump signed or Congress would have to start over. And for struggling Americans, there simply wasn't time. It is an insult to small businesses, it's an insult to the working poor, and it's an insult to the unemployed. The motion to reconsider is laid on the table. Meanwhile, the House just passed a measure to take up Trump's demand for $2,000 stimulus checks, but it's all but certain to fail in the Republican-led Senate if it's even voted on in the Senate at all. As for that relief deal, many wondering when they might see those stimulus checks hit their bank account. Now, there's no set date, but Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin had suggested it would only take about a week or so for that money to start going out once the president signed off. Andrew Dimber, ABC News in Washington. And many Americans are anticipating at least $600 from that most recent COVID-19 aid package. But many tonight wondering if they will qualify for that stimulus. The pandemic aid package is roughly $900 billion decided within a nearly 6,000 page long legislation. That's the longest bill ever authored. But just because you receive a check in the first round of the stimulus back in the spring of 2020, that certainly doesn't mean that you'll receive a second round. If you filed your 2019 tax return after the stimulus check was uh, was uh, sent to you, the first round, which was based on 2018 for sure, then your 2019 filing will determine whether you get it or not. You may got the first round, but you not get the second round because your 2019 October 15 filing, it was over that threshold. The threshold to qualify has remained the same as it was in the last uh, stimulus bill. Individuals earning $75,000 a year or couples who earn $150,000 a year will qualify for that full amount.